Okay. World 5, and we're moving on to it. Anyways, World 5. Um, just gonna be showing you tips and tricks. First, how to, like, how to easily blaze through, and just secrets and tricks that you could do to guide yourself easier. First, happy home. I'm gonna be going off uh, over the basics. These armors are pretty good, but you won't be using a lot of them, mostly because you might be getting boss drops that drop also other better armor. So, that's gonna be that. Weapon shop. Everything here you can buy, it's acceptable, except for the wooden sword. Don't get the wooden sword, it's not worth it. There's some gold scattered around, but other than that, there's no secret in this area. Uh, I recommend, once you get the boss's weapon, so 1 in 4 does like around 9 damage, once you get his weapon, right here, I recommend that, first of all, have every single buff, pyrotonic, strength, speed. You will be farming these guys with probably lightning armor and a bunch of health potions and you, and but if you want gold then farm the Cleos and sell his linked swords also another tip uh chicken you could spawn here he drops this rubber chicken one it's a one in 50 but it does 12 million to 15 million damage and it will carry you for a long time next roblox hq there's like a lot of little roblox uh classic roblox places but they don't do anything before we mil uh, build, uh, move on to any of these if you have the wall staples from the previous world uh in the uh mountains you could wall staple onto here and there's nothing else he drops the ban hammer 9 million to 9.5 million very good also good weapon next builder man's office builder man he drops um a weak ghost i'm pretty sure little what was it called ice ice dagger which isn't really good but he also drops this armor right here that i'm going to show you um where is it i don't think i have it because for some reason a lot of stuff was like yeah right here outrageous build clubs hat it's like overlapping it's pretty good um then teapots of doom i'll show you the secret here so this guy right here drops the gravity hammer i'm pretty sure it does less damage with the band hammer so with the band hammer or with the band hammer or the gravity hammer you're going to want to grind these adorite teapots right here and collect the gold simultaneously if you want to do that um next you want to go the black iron teapot uh He's not really worth it. He drops something good, but you can still get his drop if you're a collectionist, like I was. Next, the heights. Right off the bat, if you want to do it, you could go over here, and you could oh fight. Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh shoot, I fell. Um, you could go onto here and fight Shedletsky. He gives you the chicken leg, and it's actually a very interesting weapon. It's the biggest RNG factored weapon in the whole game. It can be better than Behar, but it could be even worse. It does 1 to 40 million. So on average, you see it's a deal of random damage or so. 11 million, 17 million. So I'd say it is better than the Van Hammer. So if you want to get that, you can do it. Also nothing here. We... Uh, sword Fighters, you don't really have to farm them. They're not even that good for farming. We'll get over there in a bit. You will, got, you will want to farm these guys. Uh, with a weapon once you're done with grinding boss speaking of the boss three drops imperious drops the illumina which i don't know if i could get but it's a pretty decent sword i think it does like around 11 million or so damage uh imperious hat which is very good but it's a one in 50 illumina is a color four and then he drops his parashion which is a one in 400 and the uh, one in 400 parashion well <laughs> it's, it's hard to get so yeah here's illumina 10 million 12 million damage. Better than Van Hammer, but I'd say worse than the chicken leg with these results here. Yeah, worse than the chicken leg. Um, so now with that out of the way, um, we're gonna want to go over here. We're gonna want to go to York's resting place. And don't touch this purple stuff, because it will teleport you back. Next, uh, I'm gonna show you more stuff. 
there's Ghost Theory spawns here. When you see Ghost Theory, uh, he has a, he's pretty actually strong, but he, if you kill him, he can drop the Ghost Theory sword. Uh, it's a 1 in 50 because it's a Fabled, but it does 50 million to 55 million damage, which is currently the second best weapon. Also, I forgot to mention the uh, Ivory Perestron 1 in 400 that Imperius drops, best weapon in the game right now. So just saying, you should probably get it if you want to be prepared. So once you try and get that, or if you can't, then you're just going to have to keep, like, if you want to get that over the first one, you can. So that's another choice. You can farm out these witches here. But also, if you do want to, there is a little secret boss right here. Uh, the Void Star. If you want to, 40, 40 million to 50 uh, to 45 million. Very good choice as well. And then, of course, you have Yorick, uh, which he doesn't really drop that much good stuff. I'll go over his drops real quick. He drops a sword, and he also drops this riding school hat, which is, like, pretty much the second best armor in the game, I'd say. So that's pretty good. It's also, I'm pretty sure, 1 in, I don't know if it's 1 in 50 or 1 in 20. Um, but other than that, his weapon is a 2 hop. I could try and show you right now, but I don't think, I don't think I've got it. So yeah, after that, you're going to want to go to the Badlands. So, a Badland, it's, it's... It's alright. Like, the mainlands, they're alright. Also, I will show one bonus trick at the end. But, mainlands. Um, there's a bunch here. Mainlanders, not really worth your time. So, what you want to do to ma get level cap, you can get the Venom Shank if you want. Right now, it does like 42 million to 45 million. So, it's like slightly better than the Dark Heart. And, uh, if you want to get to level 20,000, just circulate and target these Turbinators. Alright, now for the final tip. I'm getting the best weapon, which is the Perestron. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. This is the way I did it. Not the way I did it, but uh, the way I could have done it, but I was too late to realize after I already got it. Alright, head on over to him. Now, this is if you have an auto clicker, use it. Good idea. But if you don't, then uh, you, you'll just have to hold down on the screen. and you know, uh, Without an auto clicker, if you're actually in the game, it'll be better. But here's what will basically happen. You just stay on the back of the railing. He can't push you off, and he'll always be on aggro. But, I'll show you something that can actually happen. That's a little weak. He will sometimes jump on your head, making him a little hard to hit. It, you can still hit him, but it'll just take longer. So, just saying. Uh, yeah, and this is just how I did it. It's literally the best method for this. Um, the best AFK method. Because if you do like here, then slowly you'll get pushed away. But, I do recommend just starting like this start like this if you're afk but if you're lazy you could just like, do this just like look at another screen if you're doing something else just hold and uh yeah also yeah ghost theory uh he just spawned so i might as well showcase him right now <clears throat> let's see real quick he is in the second part Next, goes in. I don't know if I'll get this, but as you see, he actually has a lot of health. Uh, he has a lot of health and oh, drops the ghost three sword, second best weapon. So I would recommend it going for this. So you have the pressure on, but I still went for it because it's kind of a rare thing. So yeah, um, and that is pretty much everything. Yeah. This tree is still used for nothing, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, that is pretty much everything. Thank you guys for watching. I might make more content on this game. Also, um, I'm pretty sure there was this YouTuber that I actually got a lot of this from. Um, I don't know if I could find him real quick. L let me search him up. He's the guy who, where I got all this from. Uh, call me Tesla1. I'll, I'll leave him in probably pinned comment. He's... Go watch him. He helps a lot with these, and he also uh also just very good on the content. So uh yeah, see you guys.